What is slash would be the female version of getting a boner in a public area? When the inseam of your jeans hits the exact right spot. Or the exact wrong spot and the only way to adjust it is to do that awkward knees apart pull pants crotch down and or over move. Being so wet your panties stick to your vag in an uncomfortable way and having to sneakily readjust in a way that doesn't look like you're digging in your vag or ass crack. Sounds like when your balls get stuck to your leg. I've been told by more than one woman that it's obvious as fuck when we're trying to unstuck them. Colon open bracket. My gf once asked why I mess with my balls so much. It's because you prefer them shaved dear. Apostrophe. How does one shave one's balls? I tried that a few times in my teens and twenties. Always led to blood and regret. When your panties get stuck in your butt crack. But readjusting them would mean shoving your hand in your pants slash up your skirt. So you just have to deal with it. Ah. The old sofa slide. You get only one shot at the sofa slide trick though. If you do the slide and the panties are still sawing your butthole in two. You're out of luck. For some reason. People get suspicious when you start polishing a sofa with your butt. God damn this is why I keep coming back to reddit. Feeling a warm and humid sensation. Almost like a tingling in your genitalia. The upside is nobody notices. The downside is wet panties. Related, when you get really turned on at work, and still have an 8 hour shift with wet panties. Such that when you get home you have a slight diaper rash on your butt, wear the wrong underwear the next day and it either stays uncomfortable or gets worse. Edit. Uh, genuinely. Thank you for the suggestions. XD should get better, when I don't need to wear long johns every day anymore. B. I should also say, since vaginas are self cleaning, sometimes it's not even being turned on. Just, suddenly you're uncomfortably wet for no good reason. Though also, idle minds. Devil's plaything. Haha. <laughs> Keep a small bottle of baby powder in your bag. I do a physically intense job, and I sweat a lot. It saved my life many times. Doesn't that cause ovarian cancer or something? IDK I've seen so many this causes cancer commercials and sass, that I forget which thing causes what ailment. Get the talc free one. Pad shifted and is probably showing. Pad shifted. Is stuck to my pubic hair. Is pulling the hair every time I move. That happens to me almost every time. The old impromptu bikini wax. Brazilian wax. So it just sticks to all the skin. Sometimes if I was with my BF at the time. And I was wearing a skirt. And sat on a hard plastic chair and we were flirting a little bit. I would get so hot and bothered and wet that when I stood up the seat would be slightly damp. That would be horrifyingly embarrassing and so I made it a habit to sit on my coat if I was wearing a skirt so that wouldn't happen. But that was a while ago now. This reminds me of a facebook post I saw from a girl I'm friends with on there. She worked at a resort in the summer and took a photo of a wet dick imprint left on the cushions outside. She made the caption men. Please make sure all of you is dry before sitting down. I don't need your measurements printed in my seats. And you could see a full on balls and shaft print too. My sister owns a catering company. And at a wedding. A drunk girl sat on the glass top bar in a short dress. And left the outline of her ass and vagina on the glass. That's a little hot NGL. Boy will you have fun at our slash trash abanas. Snail trail. Please don't call it that. My sincerest apologies. When getting turned on. Or throbbing sensation happens. It's only a quick thump. But it feels. As if I have an extra heart down there. This would result in pressing your thighs together at the feeling of it. Definitely just press my thighs together to test this theory. So did I. And squished my ballsack pretty bad. My regards brother or sister idk how's it hanging down there. A little to the left. Sometimes there's just a random and uncontrollable gush of fluid. Enough that if you're not wearing panties. It will run down your legs. Like you've peed yourself a fair amount. I would add to this the random feeling. When you're on your period. And using a pad and you can feel some of it come out. Fortunately I haven't had. That feeling much. Since I switched to a cup. It was the worst, when you are talking to someone, and feel it come out but still maintain a normal conversation. 
or you sneeze and whoosh. Serious question because I'm wondering if it's just me. Have you ever coughed or sneezed and then the cup slash tampon tries to escape? I shot my cup out of myself and into the toilet because I sneezed while peeing. Not my finest moment. I was on a date with someone I was very attracted to and we hadn't had sex yet. I was wearing a very thin skin tight beige dress. My. Um. Juices leaked on the dress. And I didn't notice until I went to the bathroom and saw that it was a noticeable wet spot right where my ass was. Had to use a hand dryer to air it out. The smell of sex and candy. Who's that lounging in my chair? Who's that casting devious stares in my direction? Mama this surely is a dream. Yee. When your pussy is so warm it activates the airport scanner and you get the full body pat down. True story. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. You had my curiosity, but now you have my erection. TFS? I was just rewatching that episode as I was reading this thread. The smell where is that smell coming from uncomfortable shuffling? Does Pam have a boner again? The cled twitch. Do you mean when it gets throbby? Oh I mean. For the love of all things holy please elaborate. When we get aroused, we can feel our heartbeat through the clit. When I was in high school 4 years ago, I would get wet and my clit would start throbbing like a heartbeat out of nowhere. So fucking weird. I guess that's the equivalent lol. Nipples that can cut ice. I get really embarrassed if you can see my erect nipples through my shirt for some reason. I hate going without a bra. Mine are the kind that is visible through a top, whether they're soft or hard. Really embarrassing cause then it just seems like they're erect all the time. Edit. Oh uh, wow. Thanks for the awards. My firsts. Apparently lots of PPL relate. Getting wet and being 100% sure everyone within 10 feet can smell your pussy. I can't smell it, but I can see the increase in temperature with my thermal vision. Rapid clicking. Getting wet enough that you're worried you're bleeding or peed yourself a little at it. Thank you for the gold. You're too kind. God, I feel this in my soul. Lol it happens. And it always happens when you're either too busy to get to a bathroom or don't know where one is. Best is when you're walking around, your underwear not only sticking to you, but has decided to do acrobatics and somehow wedge itself into both your cracks, but in different angles, and you're just trying to make sure no one sees your uncomfortable looking face or the weird, janky walk you're trying to do to shake your underwear out of the cracks, but you know it will never happen, because the underwear gods are shadden fruit loving dicks. Wow. This is a great description. As a guy. I've never considered the inconvenience of to cracks lol one is bad enough damn it. OMG. Frontal wet gear epiphany. Sometimes, out of the blue it feels like you are horny, that sensation as if you have been rubbing your bean. Must be nice to not have to hold a book over your crotch to hide the arousal. It is but you still get paranoid that everyone knows somehow. Sploosh. Oh yeah no. The male equivalent of sploosh, which, I guess is just sploosh. But with semen. 1. Period stains on pants 2. Period blood smell. I broke the news to a girl once. I was in Taco Bell. Like 1am. And she was in line in front of me. She had a hoodie on. And tight. White pants. I tried my best to phrase it as nice as possible. Me being a dude. I said. FYI. Seems you sat in something. Might wanna throw your hoodie around your waist. She had the instant look of death and simply said thank you while quickly taking off her hoodie. Not the hero she wanted, but definitely the hero she needed. And that, kids, is how I met your mother. Sadly no. Getting wet. Hard nipples. Extreme blushing. I'd say nipples are the closest to a boner. Extreme blushing going to start calling my boners that. My penis is blushing so hard. Just a torrent of arousal secreting every time a dude revs up his lifted pickup truck at a stoplight and drag races nobody in particular across an intersection, endangering the lives of pedestrians. 
Oh thank god. For a while now I've been feeling like my display of power is not doing anything. She said lift it. Not only lift it on one side. Slash you slash sloping underscore wagon. IDK if other women get this. But I get this glowing sensation in my vagina, which is the internal part of my clitoris, the G-spot. I also get a slight tingly sensation all around the outside part. Is it like how everything goes from this is kinda there and not really relevant like everything else in the body, to now there is a warmth and swell, and tingle that it is imperative you notice that tells you you're aroused, I get that too. Today I learned that getting random or unwanted boners is still more predictable than having a vagina who actively tries to disrupt your life. Thank you for the enlightenment. I will never complain again. I once went to a dinner and had my BF at the time lightly teasing me under the table. When I stood up my wetness ran down my leg and made a trail in my stockings. I don't wear bras so yes. Always the damn nipples. I hate bras. But I'm scared my nips have far too much pep to forego a bra. Even for one day. Because they don't quit, it would for sure be the equivalent of a dude walking around constantly with a raging boner. Used to manage a bank and all my tellers were female. One day one said I have a though. Should not have. But I asked. What's that? A titty hard on. Equivalent. What about TB? And I'm not talking about tuberculosis. Titty boners. The worst is starting your period and it leaking through your pants. Farts of the fanny. I do acrobatics. We were doing this straddle exercise where you lie on your back. Straddle your legs out sideways and keep moving them outwards until you're in a plow position or a candlestick. I have to kegel so hard because if I don't, I swear I can feel my pelvic floor inhale and exhale. Very, very loudly. Why I? I Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.